Hey, I'm Shea Carl. I've been making uh, YouTube videos for about almost 10 years now. I know I stand here making vlog footage, thanks <laughs> A lot of times I, I see that happening where certain, you know, specific industries are not up to speed and they're not hip to this new, you know, social media promotion. We watched your video last night uh, in Toronto with the uh, CN yeah. Tower. You yeah. guys were like super amazed by it. <laughs> This morning, I'm like, I can hear people screaming out there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, Skywalk. They hang yeah. off of it. Yeah. I did that last year. That's oh, cool. did you? Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Awesome. Good question, man. Thank you. What are we about to do, Sarah? We're going to take a Peachy Fam selfie. All right. Peachy Fam camera. I like to lay on the ground. Oh. Guys, I got to go back in. She just back down. <laughs> All right, squad. Do this real. Yeah. How do you find, engage, and incentivize these influencers if you do use influencers? We are the, the Olympic broadcaster. Um, we have really great relationships with these high-performance athletes. We kind of took them as our influencers because they, we're, 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 we, show, we take good care of them. We do features on them, and so they want to share that content that we create, and it, it, we put the content on TV, but then they're also pushing it if we put out like a digital feature on them. They came up to me and, and they basically tossed me their phone and said, hey Monica, can you please take this photo of me and my family? Because that relationship had you know, been established. And I know you guys felt the same thing in Rio. As well. Oh yeah, if you can make that FaceTime with them, then they come, they come to you. What are some good resources to use to stay up to date um, and be relevant? Blogs, websites, forums, what are you kind of, what are your go-tos? Uh, where are you learning kind of um, from top down different social platforms? From your, from your colleagues, just like your peers are really, really good resources um, because there's so much and so it's really hard to really pick and choose what's best. Um, Buffer does their Buffer blog and they have great, great information in that. Um, I get so many emails that are like News Whip, uh, I think they're like the usual suspects I guess and you just get so many different emails but also just being, looking, like looking, I'm always looking at things and saying, oh, that, I like that, like who did this? Like, I use Speedly, um, and I also use Twitter. I mean, I put in, it, it becomes sort of like my daily. I sort of go on there and just give me a brain dump of just what's happening, uh, whether it's newsworthy, whether it's gossip. It really doesn't matter, but it just keeps me in the know. To your point, I look at what other brands are doing, and if it's something really cool, I can check it out, find out what they did, and then I note it. Whatever it is that is on your list, whatever it is that you want to do in this world, in this lifetime, it's possible. You have to believe. And you have to surround yourself like, like this group here. You surround yourself by positive, powerful women who are also ready to step up their game and live their biggest life. I invite you all to play big, to learn big, to give big. I want to give a special shout out to Now Creative, and especially Daniel Frankavilla, who is the man behind Now Creative Group. Um, they have been helping us spread the word, promote. They're one of our, our partners and sponsors. He is even here. He's another man, so dad, you're not alone, which is great. <laughs> The idea that every Olympic medalist is forever connected in some way. That they share something special, that we share something special. But that we've all come from different backgrounds, we all come from different countries or different provinces, we've all come from you know, different motivations for doing what we do. We've all to overcome different challenges to get there and we probably will all use our successes or our accomplishments to do different things in the future. We all have very, very different stories. Walking, bike, 
Subway. That's who gets her first. Woo! Just got in, and it's the most glorious sun. <laughs> Third place, buddy. I'll introduce myself, Richard Vigal de Carlos. I'm a global shaper and that's how we met. Yeah. And generally, I'm traveling across the US and Canada and I just came back from Cuba. We want to help build communities around this um, and the best way to do that is physically meet people. Upstart essentially simulates what it's like to set up and sustain a business. After a year and a half of testing with people from all over the world, we felt that it was ready. And over the last six months, we've been preparing for the Kickstarter. So it's been really two years in making this Kickstarter campaign. Mm -hmm. The Kickstarter, it's gonna be until November 19. Um, right now we're hitting 30%. So we're very, very much excited for all of the support. So if you could share it with friends, if you know someone who might wanna back it, if you wanna back it, please do jump in. We have different levels where you can get a copy for yourself and we're also donating copies to schools in, in the Philippines um, to help the underprivileged get access to the game.